Even if this planet has produced some genuinely amazing mega projects, the ones that never happened are far above the wildest dreams of the vast majority of people. From a half-mile high tower that could transport vehicles to its pinnacle, to a megacity inside a gigantic pyramid, join us today as we explore the most bizarre mega projects that were proposed but never constructed. Number 1. Fair Dumont, France Proposed back in 1933, Fair Dumont, meaning Lighthouse of the World, was a half-mile tall observation tower planned for the 1937 World Fair in Paris. This tower was advertised as Pleasure Tower Half Mile High, and visitors would find a restaurant, hotel, and observation deck at the top of the tower. Once at the top, the spire of the tower contained a lighthouse beacon and a meteorological cabin. The most audacious thing about this tower is that it features an external spiral ramp leading to a parking garage 500 meters from ground level. Usually, spiral ramps and parking garages contain around 5 to 10 revolutions depending on the floor count, with a tight radius for turning. Imagine driving up a spiral ramp with 30 revolutions, with a much larger radius, surely drivers would get quite dizzy after completing the drive. This design was put forward during a time when skyscrapers and automobiles were becoming popular, so it makes sense that the tower was designed to accommodate vehicular movement. Fair du Monde may seem like a hilarious proposal sitting outside the realms of reality, yet it's not completely impossible to construct. Number 2. Hotel Attraction New York In the early 1900s, when the Astors, Rockefellers, and other wealthy families were obsessed with constructing extravagant buildings in New York City, two unknown businessmen decided to build something different. So they traveled to Spain and met with eccentric genius, Antoni Gaudi, who proposed a soaring futuristic grand hotel attraction to be located in Lower Manhattan. It is a castle-like structure inspired by Catalan modernist architecture, with towers shaped like cones, rising 1,000 feet into the sky. It was designed as a getaway for the wealthy and affluent, with lavishly outfitted guest rooms, six floors of dining options, a sizable theater and lecture hall, numerous galleries, and a 390-foot tall exhibition area. The tower's star-shaped sphere would be at the top, providing 30 individuals with unrestricted views of the city at once. Being a communist, Antonio Gaudi entirely disagreed with the businessman's intention to serve affluent clients, and it is said that he abandoned this project out of moral conviction. As a result, the hotel attraction was never developed past the design stage. Before we continue, if you would like to learn more about billion dollar construction projects around the world, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. Number 3. Shimizu Megacity Pyramid What would living inside a pyramid be like? Sure, the ancient Egyptian pyramids might not be that comfortable, given that they have little to no ventilation and no modern facilities. But, imagine living in a modern pyramid. The Shimizu Mega City is a structure planned to be built over Tokyo Bay in Japan. The building would be 14 times larger than the Great Pyramid of Giza, dwarfing all previous constructions in sheer scale. It would accommodate 750,000 people and would be the biggest man-made structure in the planet. In fact, the size of the pyramid is such that the weight of materials needed to construct it would be unfeasible. The construction of this pyramid depends on future availability of strong lightweight carbon nanotube technology. The structure would host its own micro-community. 240,000 housing units would be included, and a sizable portion of the space would be devoted to businesses and offices that would give the residents jobs. Sustainable energy sources would be used to power the megacity pyramid. People might move throughout the complex using inclined elevators, accelerated walkways, and a rapid transit system. The XSEED 4000 structure, which was also suggested for Tokyo, Japan, is remarkably similar to this idea. Number 4. Palace of the Soviets one of the most famous architectural projects of the Soviet government was a project called the Palace of the Soviets. Conceived in the early 1920s, it was supposed to symbolize the victory of socialism. The plan was that it would house government bodies and serve as a venue for political sessions. 
This construction was set to become the tallest building in the world at the time with a total height of 1,625 feet. The original version was supposed to have a 60 feet tall worker with a torch in his hand at the top of the building. However, Joseph Stalin intervened and proposed a statue of Lenin instead. It is said that on a clear sunny day, the Lenin statue would be visible from a distance of tens of kilometers. The palace was to have high-speed elevators, air purification systems, and multifunction halls with giant media screens. In 1931, construction on the project began and the work lasted eight years, but the project came to a halt with the outbreak of World War II. After the war, the project was never resumed. In 1960, the largest swimming pool in the USSR called Moskva was built on the site where the foundation of the palace once was. Number 5. The Illinois Chicago The Illinois is a visionary skyscraper over one mile high that was proposed to be built in Chicago. It was unveiled in 1957 by American architect Frank Lloyd Wright. The design included 528 stories, with enough room for 100,000 people and parking for 15,000 cars and 100 helicopters. The Illinois was intended as a mixed-use structure designed to spread urbanization upwards rather than outwards. There would be enough floor area for parking, offices, hotels, and residences. According to Wright, the structure could house all of the previously dispersed government offices in Chicago. The tower itself was built in the shape of a tripod, with a central core and three structural wings. Wright employed his tree-inspired tapered foundation design at the base of the structure. The foundation travels downward until it reaches a point at the base. If constructed, it would be the highest structure in the world, surpassing the Empire State Building in height by more than four times, the Burj Khalifa in height by over twice, and the projected Jeddah Tower by about 2,400 feet. Number 6. The Volkshall, Germany the Volkshall, also known as the People's Hall, was a proposal for a monumental domed building to be built in a reconstituted Berlin in Nazi Germany. The project was conceived by Adolf Hitler and designed by his architect Albert Speer. According to Speer, this gigantic building was inspired by Emperor Hadrian's Pantheon in Rome which Hitler had visited privately in 1938. But Hitler's interest in the Pantheon predated this visit, since his sketch of the Volkshall dates from about 1925. When Speer discussed the construction with British and US structural engineers in 1945, it was reportedly revealed that the interior of the auditorium would have been so vast, with the capacity to hold 180,000 people at a time. In reality, if there were 180,000 chanting Nazis within the dome, moisture from their breath would cause condensation to form on the underside of the dome. Clouds would be produced as a result, and the masses below may even experience rain. The oculus in the center of the dome would have been so big that the dome of St. Peter's Rome could have been lowered through it. Eighty years have gone by since the fall of Berlin, and it is still quite hard to understand just how enormous the Volkshall would have been. Could it have been built? Most likely, as despite suggestions that the Volkshall would have collapsed under its own weight, an extensive use of steel in the construction of the dome and copper sheathing would have enabled Hitler to achieve his objectives. What are your thoughts on these fantastical mega projects that were never built? Leave a comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching and see you soon with another video.